So episode 7 seems like a return to form and a perfect way to end the 7 part Dalek story. Um, the Daleks are probably at the most ruthless in the episode at, at the end of the story. You know, they show no hesitance in killing the Thals because, you know, the masks are off. They, you know, they just like killing people who aren't them. Typical. <laughs> Now it's 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 pretty ahead of its time. Terry Nation, 1963, talking about like racism, fascism, stuff like this. So, like I said, in my other reviews, it's obvious that the people who worked on the show lived through this type of stuff in World War Two and are currently facing this stuff in the Cold War. So it's it's very of the times in the same way as it is ahead of the times. Um, but you know, the big positive message of the episode is how people could work together to stop evil. You know, like the Doctor and his companions finally have this sort of rhythm where they're able to work together. And along with the Thals, people they don't really know that well, and the Thals don't, you know, they're able to trust each other to find a common good. I think it's a great way to end the story. But of course, you know, like the Daleks have been defeated forever. Now, um, they didn't know how popular the Daleks would be because obviously, you know, these things are revolutionary. Daleks are still shown on Doctor Who today. <laughs> um, but obviously, they're going to bring him back next season. And I'm, I'm glad they did because The Dark and Faith and the Wolf is probably one of my favorite episodes of The Halt and the Lara. I'm excited to you know, get to that eventually. But yeah, you know, pretty good conclusion of the sh uh, to the story. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought below. And next week, I'll be talking about The Edge of Destruction. But it's probably only be one video because it's only two episodes long. So thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, peace.